Um, I chose this program because Bob, I met him August 28th in 2009, and I remember the day because it was a life-changing day for me. And I chose that program because everything he said, well, it resonated with me. Um, I had been a big Zig Ziglar follower, and I had, for 25 years ago, Zig had told me, you can have everything you want in life if you just help enough other people get what they want. And, I, and what I was hearing from Bob was following that philosophy. So it was a very easy, when he announced his licensing program, it was a very easy, you know, change for me. Well, when I met him to start with, I was a franchise owner. And I had been doing franchisee conferences for my franch fellow franchisees. Um, our corporate office only does one every two years. So, and I felt that we needed more support than that. So I started doing one in 2006 for any franchisee who wanted to come. So that's where I was, I'm a franchise owner. So it was a very easy transition because I want, I've been helping these people since 2006. So now this was giving me the certification that I needed to be taken seriously why other people should hire me too. The law of value states you should give more in value than you take in payment. So that in my, my franchises is a very easy to implement that. We do other, you know, just little things like bagging and bowing because I own a chocolate franchise. So little things that we do to incorporate that with our customers. Law of compensation, which is my very favorite law, states your true worth is determined by how many people you serve and how well you serve them. Um, also in the book, if you remember, um, Nicole talks about they make things up and then they make it happen. And that's my very favorite part in the book is about making things up and making, them hap making it happen. Law number three is the law of influence. And I'm always humbled by that law because people do look to me as a leader in our community. So it is something I'm not comfortable with right now because I do feel like I have a big center of influence. I, I do have a big influence around me of people I can pull from and ask for help and um, I, I feel very lucky to have that. I just, I have a big, I have a big center of influence. And then uh, the law of authenticity, I don't know, I'm just a dork. I'm, I, I am who I am. I'm not gonna be anybody else. So that was very, you know, to me that's just very easy to do. Um, and, num and law number five, the law of receptivity, is the one I would imagine most of us have trouble with, and I still struggle with sometimes. I'll get that call from Bob Berg saying, oh, I think you might need to, you'll see something I wrote, you might want to go over this and change this, and <laughs> the next thing you know, it's, I didn't have it at all. It, that gave me the permission to accept the fact that I'm more valuable than I thought I was. I, I, I now believe that where it was hard for me to charge what I was charging, it, I now ver do it very easily because I am, I am valuable and before I was not placing any value on me, so when it was hard for me to ask for that and receive it. Not because it was hard to take it, it's because it was hard to receive it because it was hard to ask for it, even though I was worth it. Well, I think that's I think that started in 25 years ago with Zig Ziglar, and it was really that, that saying, you can have everything you want in life if you just help enough other people get what they want, has really, to me, encompasses all five laws. Because I really do feel like I have gotten every single thing I've wanted in life. I have a beautiful home, I have a beautiful family, I, I, I love everything. I, I, couldn't, I could not think of one thing I would change in my life, and I, um, chuck that up to the fact that I have spent my, the last 25 years helping other people get what they need, whether it be, mostly business owners, helping other business owners um, achieve whatever they wanted out of their business. So that would be probably the law of uh, value. Um, the law of compensation, very, very easy for me. Um, you make it up and you make it happen. Um, I'm, I'm, I would like, I don't know, does this sound bragging if I say I'm, I, I kind of don't wait for people to tell me what to do. I, I just see what I want and I go make it up and I make it happen. 
as an example of that conference that I was just talking about. There was a need for that. I saw it. I decided that we, I know I needed more as a franchise owner. I needed more support than what we were getting. So I started a conference. I, and I do that quite a bit. If I see something that, that I want, I, I make it happen. So that's law number two. So law number three, um, the law of influence. I network a lot. I spend a lot of time building relationships with other business owners. Um, volunteer, I do a lot of volunteering with uh, other organizations, business organizations in my community. Uh, where my, mostly where my business is located because it's not in the same community that I live in. Um, and law number four, the law of authenticity. I am, I am being me. I'm, like I said, when I said before I'm a dork, I'm kind of a dork sometimes. But I'm also hardworking and honest and, you know, I'm, I'm out to help, just help everybody. I just, that is, that's what gives me, I feed off of other people's energy. So that's what I'm looking for. Because you truly can have anything you want because you just have to make it up. Whatever you can dream it, you can achieve it if you ju you just have to make it up and you can make it happen. That's the that to me is the biggest law right there. And I know that's the law of compensation even though it doesn't have anything to do with well, it doesn't in, indirectly have everything to do with money, but it's not geared toward that. It's about going out and getting what you want. Whether it be success or whether it be money or clients or whatever you want it to be. You know what, it really has because last year in January um, was the first time I had met most of the coaches. And afterwards, there was four of us, four of us coaches that got together and formed our own mastermind group. And so to me, those other three women are really more than friends and they are more, more like family. Because they're gonna hold me accountable. If I don't do what I say I'm gonna do, you know, one of, they're not, they're other coaches, they're not gonna let me off the hook. Um, having the accountability helped me achieve one of my goals this year, which was to write a book. Um, I got that done and I did not want to come back to my mastermind group and say, this, I had not finished this. As I would tell them every week, what I, what I want to be accountable for was getting this done or then getting this, this finished and getting it edited and then getting it, you know, as an ebook and then getting it printed. And they held me accountable for all of that. And if I came back and said, you know, I was busy this week and I didn't get to it, um, trust me, they, they let me have it and it's like, and then that's so probably harsher than most than I would have accepted from my family, my actual family. But I did not want to let them down either, and I didn't want to look like a loser to them that I wasn't doing what I said I was going to do. Uh, yeah, I, I probably am going to be more accountable to my mastermind partners than my family. <laughs> so, because not that I want to let my family down, but they're going to love me regardless. There, it's, a, it's a completely different relationship because they're go my family, my f real family is going to love me regardless of whether I do what I, you know, if I didn't do the laundry, they're still going to love me. If I didn't do what my mastermind partners asked me to do, um, they're going to hold me accountable. They're going to make me, they're going to make me tell them why I didn't do it. And that's kind of, that self-realization of being honest with yourself really kind of sucks when you have to say that you didn't do what you said you're going to do. Yeah, it, it's, it's important. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, I think that's very important because it, you're not lying to them, you're lying to yourself.